me. <laughs> Today we are reacting to the challenging medical scenes and injuries from the highly popular survival video game Green Hell. Will these characters have what it takes to survive the Amazon rainforest? We shall see. Let's dive right in. Oh, nice. It's got a nice good abrasion to the right forearm. If we actually saw that in the emergency department, get somebody to wash it out. If you don't have a syringe where you can actually flush it really well, you can actually just run it under a sink. We actually will use betadine to clean the skin around the wound, not in the wound. In the wound cleaning is water pressure. Could be regular water, could be normal saline. And then you suture it close. Okay. It was trying to put a wound dressing on your leg, trying to figure this out, and then all of a sudden now you're getting attacked. <laughs> oh, man. I was not expecting that type of like spear to the left flank. The thing you worry about in that type of spot is your spleen on the back. You know, you can get the lung if it's a little bit higher up. People have splenic ruptures all the time. They have to have surgery to have them removed. If you actually have your spleen removed, you are suggested to get a couple different vaccinations because you won't be as well defended against certain microorganisms. Disgusting. Ugh. Oh, you gotta be careful. Drinking water, unknown source. Biggest thing you're always taught, you should be boiling your water if you're in this type of situation because you don't know what type of parasites are potentially in this. You can become so dehydrated that it actually could take your life. Don't drink the water! Whoa, animal attack. Is that a jaguar? What is that? Big cats in the wilderness, be careful. Ferocious, angry, very, very strong. Typically wild animals, they won't stop. They're just gonna keep coming. If I was in that situation, I'd try to be as big and scary as I possibly could if you have no other choice. Get out of there ASAP. Does anybody know how to tell the difference between jaguars and cheetahs? It all has to do with their spots. Oh, me. <laughs> The biggest thing you worry about is big lacerations, wounds, and bites leading to not just blood loss and potential shock, but infection. Mouths are dirty, claws are dirty, and so it can just inoculate you. Oh, we got mauled. See how there are three successive in a row? Actually, it's a big pain in the butt to try to sew up. You sew up each wound, but it's not attached to the one next to it, so it pulls it further away. So you have to continue to kind of do them all at the same time so they stay together. You have a high risk of infection. Majority of the time, we would do what's called a loose closure, where it doesn't totally close because you need it to allow to drain out. What's, what's going on? Whoa, what's going on? The... Oh, was that a mushroom? Did he just eat a mushroom? There are people out there that hunt in the wilderness looking for all different kinds of mushrooms. Majority of them are probably okay. Most mushrooms, I would think you should cook them. Maybe eating it raw might leave some dangerous things within the mushroom still active. Everything in the wild has something to protect itself against being killed or eaten. So there are defense mechanisms. Got a wonderful defense mechanism. You're climbing up a rope barehanded, so you worry about rope burns, obviously. Has anybody had run into a burn on your arm? Not fun, not cool, hurt yourself. Oh, fall. Not good. Me. <laughs> Falls backwards onto hard earth. Worry about landing on a rock, landing on a pivot point. You see people who fracture their arms because they're putting their arms out to protect themselves, fracture their wrists or their hands. Longer bones can be a greater problem, like a femur or your humerus. Those are big major issues. A line snapped and I fell down a good 30 feet. 30 feet, that's like three stories. I've mentioned falls from heights greater than three times yourself. Typically that's around 15 to 18 feet. So this is a major trauma, a major fall. We see a lot of people that have injuries from that high of a fall, rib fractures, vertebral fractures, sometimes even intracranial bleeding. Oh, that's definitely not good. Oh my good. gosh, there's a, a lot of injuries to this right forearm. You know, a lot of people might be right-handed or right arm dominant, so you actually might use that to block, and that's why you have an increased risk of abrasions, injuries, lacerations to your dominant arm, so just be aware of that. In the jungle, every scratch can be dangerous. You need to patch everything up. 
remember how to do it? There you go. See, it was what I'm telling you. I warned you. If you voluntarily end up in a situation where you're in the wilderness, you should definitely have some sort of like field manual, field book of medicine on you. It doesn't weigh very much, but it could save your life. Big lake. Whoa! <laughs> Got too close to that. That is probably something called the Black Cayman. Don't approach it so quickly and aimlessly. You probably move actually faster than you think. The bite force is so strong. It's like a ton. Literally. Does anybody know how to tell the difference between a crocodile and an alligator? Let me know in the comments. Go away! Oh, whoa, ah, are those leeches? Those gotta be leeches. They look like leeches. We actually still use leeches, obviously not in the emergency department, but in wound healing and different types of surgeries. They produce a type of enzyme that prevents you from clotting, so they can just continue to suck your blood. Back in the day, they potentially were used trying to blood light or to suck some blood out of you to get rid of pathogens and clean your blood, that sort of thing. But they're not used for that very much anymore. Running in the jungle. What the heck is that? What are those? Are those bites? Are they bugs? Those look like bites. They almost look like mosquito bites or black fly bites, anything that's huge and big and then causes a reaction to the skin versus like an infection that would be like chicken pox kind of thing. Everybody responds differently to actually like a mosquito bite. Some have huge massive welts, some have very small ones, some people don't react. And then there's a theory out there that mosquitoes may actually like certain types of blood types out there. Oh, snake, a nice rattler. They have venom, so please be careful. We see rattlesnake bites here in Southern California all the time. It's the kind of the big one that we notice. I treat that at least once a year. So we have anti-venom. Get to the hospital if you get bitten or if you think you've gotten bitten. Oh, jeez. Oh, look at those nasty, huge bugs. Those are massive wasps. The peptide that it actually makes has a potential use in chemotherapy. A lot of the medical ideas, the medicine ideas, come from the environment in the wilderness, breaking different plants down and figuring out what type of medicinal properties that they have that can be beneficial to the human race. Uh, damn it! That looked like a yellow golden frog. These golden frogs have enough poison to kill 10 grown men. Don't just randomly try to pick up frogs. Super interesting about using different types of medicines and plants out there. Don't forget, we still have some merch, limited run. Get it before it runs out. The link is in the description below. If you enjoyed this, check out this playlist right here. And as always, make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friend.